The Long COVID Clinic, what you can do. With Dr. Benita Kane and Helen Oakley. Hi, welcome. Today we are joined by Harry Leeming, who has developed and created the app Visible. Harry, I know you're not feeling brilliant today, so thank you so much for for joining us. Uh, I love the name Visible for the app. So what was the inspiration behind that name? Um, So it was really, these conditions are are difficult to see, they're difficult to understand. And one of the big reasons for that is we don't have a good way of, of measuring them. And so we're looking at using data the idea is we want to make your illness visible, not just to yourself so that you can manage it, but also visible to clinicians so that they can recognize and support your illness. Um, and then also for researchers as well, um, so they can study and better understand your illness. So I'm one of the people who's really benefited from using my Garmin watch, which I've been using to track body battery for a couple of years now. How is this different and how will this benefit? Well, we know that activity is management is so crucial for these conditions. Um, And really what we need for these conditions are um, devices or tools of support to rest and to pace. Um, So we use some of that same data um, and we give you guidance on how to slow down and help you really to manage your condition. Um, So we have a a morning check in that you do where you take your, your heart rate and your heart rate variability reading. And that's a really good opportunity to see if your body is off its baseline, so is your resting heart rate higher, is your heart rate variability much lower? And these can be really good signals that actually you need to take it a little bit easier. Um, So we have the ability to do those measurements and then in the evening, the ability to track your symptoms, your exertion, um, and also, uh, you know, other things that impact your condition, whether it's the uh, menstrual cycle or uh, lifestyle changes, medication, supplements. So we have all that in the app and we try and make it as easy as possible to capture that stuff. So, you know, the morning check-in measuring your, your heart rate only takes 60 seconds and your evening check-in is only 30 seconds. Yeah, so. it is very simple to use. And I really like the symptom tracker because sometimes if your heart rate's up a bit or the heart rate variability is a bit lower than usual and you can actually map it to what the person doing and feeling on those days as well which is great i've got a quick video that we want to share with you that runs through how the app works and how you can make the most out of it hi so you can download the visible app from the app store and you can find it by searching visible long covid and once you've downloaded it once you've signed up you'll arrive in this screen which is the today tab Um, and you'll see that you can start with either a morning or an evening check-in Uh, Both of these check-ins allow you to enter data into the app about your long COVID. So your evening check-in allows you to rate your symptoms, rate your exertion, um, and track any other factors that may impact your condition. And to make this easy for you, you can turn on this toggle in the top right corner uh, to start your check-in with the same answers that you input last time. Um, To add or remove any of your trackers in your evening check-in, you can do this by going to Profile, your trackers and then select or deselect an item and you can also add custom trackers if they're not in our list. Uh, For your morning check-in we recommend doing this upon waking. This check-in allows you to rate your sleep and then take a heart rate reading via your phone's inbuilt camera. So this will give you your resting heart rate and your heart rate variability which are both really important indicators of your body's health. Um, And you can do this by placing your finger over your camera lens and the camera sensor can pick up these small changes in the color of your finger and it interprets these as heartbeats Um, and it can do this really accurately. Um, It's about 96% accurate versus an ECG comparable sensor. Um, And it's, it's important to try and do this at the same time every day. So preferably upon waking so that your body is in an undisturbed state Um, and also in the same position. So either sitting or lying down, but really the most important thing is that you're consistent. Uh, And then once you've got four days worth of morning check-in data, uh, the Visible app will generate a morning score. And you can use this score to gauge uh, how far off your body is from its baseline and then adjust your exertion accordingly. Uh, For example, if you get a low number, that means that you're far off your baseline and it's important to take it easy. And once you've started to complete more morning check-ins, you'll be able to see your data in the Trends tab. So here you can view your data across different time periods um, and easily look at different variables uh, and your long-term progress. Um, And you can turn on trend lines and compare two variables against each other uh, to spot patterns in your illness. 
And then you can also opt in to share this data directly with researchers via our community tab. So by tapping research in the top right corner, you can see that we've got some upcoming research studies um, and we'll be making some announcements about this soon. And then in the Discover tab, we've curated articles and podcasts covering the latest progress in research uh, and also the media that's, that's building awareness on these conditions. Uh, you can also follow the latest on what we're building at Visible via our Build in Public blog posts. And then finally, in the profile section, you can sign up to our waitlist for our wearable subscription, Visible Plus, and soon you'll be able to export your data in PDF form too. So I hope that's helpful. If you get stuck or have any feedback on our beta app, please message us. And you can do this directly via the help and feedback section. Uh, and one of the Visible team will get back to you within 24 hours. So I know this app's being actively improved as we speak. What can we expect next? So the long-term goal is that we have this covered by the NHS um, and no one has to pay for it. But in the sh we know that's going to take a couple of years for us to get to a point where we've collected enough evidence to be able to do that. And so we still want to offer Visible in the meantime. And so we have got this free app that's out there that is still as valuable as possible that doesn't require the hardware and the hardware is what starts costing money and so um, that's where we've made that um, that sort of that split between the free app and the paid subscription um, so yeah I'm, if we if with the wearable data what we can essentially do is the equivalent of a tilt table test or a nasoline test all day every day no, yeah, and, then it's can, incredible. and then we can see that trend so just to recap, Visible is a free app that you can download and use from today to track your symptoms and to keep an eye on what is happening with your condition or to compare yourself to those who have the condition. Um, if you have any questions or anything that you would like to ask, please do reach out. You can contact us by commenting on this video or reaching out to longcovid.org where you can also find a huge wealth of other resources. Thank you.